Hey YouTube, uh, today we're going to be making uh, dried cilantro. What you want to do is you want to get some fresh cilantro, whether you grew it out of your garden or got it from the grocery store. Right now the grocery store has one bunch of cilantro on sale for 28 cents a bunch. So I don't know if you've ever bought bottles of spices, but usually they're $1 to $5 a bottle. So what I do is I get the fresh herbs, whether I've grown it or whether I buy it. Go ahead and put it in your dehydrator. And the great thing about that is it's, it's going to give you the ability to store it throughout the season. So if you grew it or you got it on sale, you can go ahead and dehydrate it when you're able to buy large amounts for a little bit of money and you have the ability to have it all throughout the year. So what you want to do first, you want to uh, take your fresh cilantro, you want to go ahead and rinse it thoroughly and then cut off all the leaves and chop it into small pieces so that you can put it in your dehydrator and start drying. Okay, so first things first, what we want to do is we want to go ahead and cut off all the leaves because that's what we're going to be using as our dried cilantro. Okay, so after you cut off all your leaves, what you want to do is you want to go ahead and cut it into smaller pieces. And what's that going to do? It's going to give it the ability to dry a lot faster, a lot quicker, and it'll give you the ability to put it into wonderful recipes and just blend it right in. So what you want to do is you want to chop it up in small pieces, and then what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and spread it. I'm going to go ahead and spread it on top of the dehydrator. Now, uh, with your dehydrator, usually they come with trays so that you can make fruit roll-ups. And what I like to do is I like to put them on these trays so they don't fall through the center. So it's going to give it the ability to dry, but they won't all be blowing all over the place. So go ahead and spread your leaves around after you've chopped them up, and uh, it'll give you the opportunity to start drying. Okay, so what you want to do is you want to go ahead and load it up on your tray and get the next tray going and just go ahead and load up all your trays and then we'll go ahead and get started on the drying. Alright, so we have all our trays done. What we want to do is we want to go ahead and stack them up. We want to go ahead and turn on our dehydrator. Put the lid on. We want to get it started. So we got our dehydrator on. Okay, so the cilantro, you can uh, dry the leaves and the stems. Just go ahead and set it on your lowest setting or 100 degrees, whatever. Uh, and what you're going to do is you're going to dry them until the leaves crumble easily to the touch and the stems, they snap when you, uh, when you bend them. So uh, just go ahead and let this uh, dry for however long it takes, usually a couple hours. And uh, when you do that, uh, crumble it all up. You know, you can put it in a coffee grinder or whatever, crumble it up, and then you can put it in your bottle, mark it with cilantro, and you can use it in all of your Mexican dishes, your salsas, and wonderful stuff like that. So as you saw, it was quick and easy to do. Just rinse it, chop it up, and put it away. So now we have all of these stems, and the great thing that you can do with these stems, you could dry these and use these, uh, but what I'm going to do with these is I'm going to chop them up and half of them I'm going to put with my compost bin, uh, my Burma compost bin with the worms. And if you haven't seen that video yet, you can check it out right here. Also, uh, I'm going to put it as mulch uh, for my plants. And uh, what uh, some of you don't know is you can actually use uh, plants, whether you have them from your yard or whether you have leftover plants here, uh, you can chop them up into small pieces and you can use them as green manure to naturally fertilize your plants, uh, let this uh, nutrients go back into the soil and feed the plants that you're growing out in your yard or in your container garden. So, uh, you know, rate this video, comment, subscribe, you know, like I said, it's very easy. It's not a beautiful video, but it's going to show you what you need to do. So share the knowledge, teach your friends, try to live healthier, save money, and uh, prepare for anything, whether it's uh, economic collapse or whether you just need to have a really great meal with your family. Have a great day.
The great thing about dehydrating stuff at your house, whether it's fruit roll-ups, herbs, or jerky, it sends a wonderful aroma throughout your house that just gets your taste buds going. Your friends and your family are going to be jealous. Good morning. All right, so uh, now we are done with our dehydrating. So go ahead and take your lid off. Turn off your dehydrator. And as you can see, the leaves are dry. They crumble to the touch. And the stems, when you bend them, they break. So what you want to do is uh, go ahead and get them all together. Uh, make sure that they are crumbled up. And then you can go ahead and put them in your jar. So we'll just go ahead and take our sheet here. Go ahead and take your sheets, put them all in one receptacle, and then we can get them prepped to put them away. I don't know if you watched, but this was quick and easy. Not much to it. All right, and if you can see, you got tons and tons of dried cilantro right there. So this will probably last you, depending on what you're making and how long you're using it for, this will probably last you all year, and you only used one harvest of cilantro, as opposed to going to the store and buying a bottle for a dollar to five dollars a piece, you know, you can make all of this for less than a dollar and you could probably have three jars full of dried cilantro. I don't know if you've you ever seen this, but this is the McCormick cilantro leaves and I've gone ahead and filled this up about four or five times and uh, so now, you know, I'm going to fill this bottle up. This is going to be much more than a bottle. So and so I'll probably put some in a bag and probably use the uh, the food saver. You got a whole big pot full of dried cilantro leaves re ready for your Mexican food dishes and all your salsas. So have a great day. Thanks for joining me and uh, come back and join us for some more canning of foods, some more dehydrating of foods, and uh, ways to be able to uh, extreme coupons. So please subscribe. Um, you know, rate, comment. Share the knowledge, share it with your friends, and uh, teach other people how to do it. Have a great day.